Why is he in this suit me or listen? You have fulfilled your charge. Are you not satisfied? Seek you greater status. Perhaps to rule the world in time. It is how you desire you need merely spy out the path. Choices lie in the prison. By thy will alone can the course of the winners of fate be altered. You would still resist your fate. Understand you the folly of such a decision. Even the beating of your reclaimed heart was born of the great will of this world. yet assails your spirit, then perhaps you should reaffirm your choice. Witness with your own eyes, or through the eyes of another, the fate of this world. Use on self. Brian is taking us. No, stay away. Pray, turn back. Leave now while you can. You have a world where you belong. 
There, you are to fell the great evil in your path and rule the people as their sovereign. For that is who you are. And it is my wish that you should live out that life of purpose. The time has come for you to return. But my children shall see you there safely. Let us go home together. To a world under your rightful rule. World all your own. This is your will. Then behold, a world unmerciful, the left of the benevolent hands of God. strange but this is your world the world to which you longed to return alas if only you had chosen to become sovereign at the end of your travails you could have ruled over these lands in perpetual peace yet that world of limitless possibilities has entered you stand now Upon its remains, the vestiges of a world that could have been so much more. Innumerable wills have served to deliver this world from extinction time and time again. You alone have refused to carry out that great purpose. What you see before you is the consequence of your apathy. Behold. Well, that's not very good. Wait, is that Melv? It will all come to an end. As it has failed to be chosen, and as it will ne'er be read, this world will soon cease to exist. In the blink of an eye, the sickle of oblivion will reap all that you have known. I would advise you not to waste these last moments. Explore the remnants of this world while you can. Perhaps in doing so, you shall come to see the truth and know the wretchedness of a world unworthy of being chronicled. How shall you fare, I wonder? Will you endure in this world? Abandoned and unprotected. The hell is that? Red lights. At a point of interest for me to. And there's a blue light at the shrine. That's 
odd. He will regard Spain Blade, yeah, but... Where the hell are we? Visit the seafloor shrine. He's far. Well, where the hell is he? Hmm. Rims apart, find your paw. I don't know what to do. As the world treats me, have a look. Come have a look, eh? Much obliged. Quite the sum of gold we just spent. It is clear the Arisen is no miser. And where is this guy? In the um, research lab? The necessary expenses, mine. What has become of the world? Would that there was someone who could explain this madness. Come to think of it. Did not Sir Atheus speak of releasing the world from its bonds in the seafloor shrine? This is indeed the world unbound. Then perhaps we ought to seek out his wisdom. But that means we head into Har Village. They are speaking about that guy, isn't he? The storyteller. Well, let's do this one and then we're heading over there. Also, what does the quest objective say? Apart from that, Civil Rothias. Oh, yeah, that guy. What is our pod doing down in the Forbidden Magic Research? Of all places. Would that all my days were so Your pawn is nowhere to be seen, Master. But where would a pawn possibly go? Leaving their own master. Ah, uh, arisen. You yet live. I suspected as much, given that your pawn still remains. One might hypothesize that your pawn is sustained by your vital essence. Or perhaps something more. In any case, we ought to apprise one another of the situation. Is there aught you would know? Well, what is happening? Ah, yes. I trust it has not escaped your notice that the end of days is upon us. After you vanished, together with the Red Dragon, the seas rose to swallow the skies. Twas perhaps a month from that evil day when a new calamity befell us. A host of dragons descended from the skies and fell upon the land with fang and claw. Luz the Oracle called upon me ere you arrived. As she tells it, Melv and its environs have already fallen prey to the beasts. But Melv is, um, evacuated. It is surely only a matter of time before the rest of the kingdom follows suit. I found the poor creature collapsed by the wayside near Batal. Recognizing your pawn, I decided to take the ailing thing into my custody. 
I thought it possible that the Arisen's pawn might hold the key to making sense of all this madness. Alas, try what I might. Your pawn will not wake. Mayhap you will succeed where I could not. The pawn is, after all, yours to command. Indeed, then I shall take my turn. In your absence, I had hoped your pawn might yield me some information. But as you have returned, I would hear the truth from your lips. Tell me, Arisen, what became of you this past month? So, following your plunge into the sea on the dragon's back, some mysterious presence reached out to you. Could that have been the world forged? Yet why would such a being linger in those fathomless depths? I can only speculate. And speculate I shall. This ought to prove a fruitful avenue of investigation. For that, I thank you. Now, if you can find a way to end this interminable slumber, your pawn is, of course, free to rejoin you. Oh, Master! How long I've slept! Far too long, it seems. But worry not. Now that I'm awake, I shall follow wherever you lead. Never for a moment did I think you'd grow stronger someday. Having said that, it is quite a relief. Okay, um... So we have that done. Hmm. I think we need to escape. Not much going on. Uh, this way. There's something written here. It couldn't hurt to take a peek. begin to fathom what happened during our time apart. Although I was wholly unconscious, I could still feel you arisen, like a heartbeat, warm and constant. And so my faith in our bond remained steadfast. Yep, that's where our heartening thoughts end. But the world is now in peril, and there is much to be done. Well, yeah. Useful ingredients to be gathered here, old wager. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. Can I even travel across here? According to this, I should be able to. No, we don't have time. To battle already? It wasn't much of a reprieve. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim goes to waste.
That's a chest. See another chest over there. This is a challenge, Arisen, to see who can keep pace. No time to catch your bread, try to keep up. Since letting the enemy gain his upper hand, the early Griffin gets the worm, as they say. That's a long way to this place. I might be so bold as to speak my mind. I don't even know where I'm heading. Could be this way. Wait, what was that? I have a house here? It's a rift, uh, I mean a port crystal. Where about was it? Unwavering gaze ere the dawn of its history. I despaired at this discovery, for if all is but a stage, did that not render my hard won glories, my throne astride the world, mere spectacles for the all seeing eye to watch? I, twas, was all a farce, and I, the fool. Exulting in my wooden crown. Do you understand, newest of the Arisen? This is why I sought to fell the Watching One. Are you speaking about a Pathfinder or? Alas, though I cut down all who seemed false, be they man or woman, human or 
beastly, young or old. I did not succeed. Indeed, my efforts led only to my own ruin. I was dubbed the Mad Sovereign, and by the hand of a new arisen, consigned to this place forevermore. Yes. I can only assume that you have achieved what I could not. How else to explain the changes I sense in the world? Ah, oh, what bitter gall that I cannot witness the outcome for myself. Falter not, newest of the arisen. For your path is just and fading spirit. Summon those who can be of aid to you. I see you have returned, Arisen One. The Mad Sovereign has called, and so we answer. If you would save the people of this world from ruin, lead them here. For this place may chance to escape the coming destruction. Making this a place of refuge is a splendid idea. It is safe and apt to become... Since times of eld, dragon blood has been used... Remember, draconic blood flows through the veins of lesser drakes as well. Uh, what the hell? Yeah, look at this. That's some uh, decent gear you have. Um, 20. I don't have that. I mean, I do, oh, wait, I do. Well, I'm going for the weapon first, of course. Then I bid ye farewell. Okay, where the hell is the port crystal here? Or do I not need to... Um... Well, I need to, I need to locate it. There it is. I see it. Okay, we have it. Now let's see. Between the quests. So we need to lead evacuation efforts. Speak with the leaders of the lands and you have visited and guide them to the seafloor shrine. Okay. So, a uh, whole village. We've arrived well enough. Where to next? Now, mayhap you'll think twice of. Hmm. 
All right, well, the old man was right. Oh, not down there. She's not home. Shit. To think that the world could shift so suddenly and so utterly. It is a frightful thing. Drake? Who would wish for such a calamity? Or refuse to let this be the end of things? How am I to protect those dearest to me when the very world is falling apart before my eyes? Well, I don't know. Care to stay? I'll gather these now. It would be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. You would gather materials here, Master. Can we? What will become of us? Wouldn't this be with Leonard? Do I have any objective? I only have these that I think is bad. I think I need to go to the major civilizations. Sacred Arbor. Burnworth. Only three of them. See, I'm not supposed to be here. I think I need to go where the beams are. This ladder can take us to new heights. After you arisen. Your Majesty, how glad I am to see you safe. Where have you been this past month?
the end of the world. Are things truly so dire? Though, I am aware of the dragon attack on Mel. We received word that naught but a smoking ruin remains. T'was a tragedy, and I would not see it repeated. However, without a clear path, we and the guard shall be hard pressed to forestall the impending crisis. You would have me evacuate the city? I see. Mayhap it would be for the best. Ever since the fall of Mel, the citizens of Vernworth have lived in fear that their homes are next to be assailed. If there is safe harbor to be found elsewhere, I believe we have naught to lose by seeking sanctuary. But I doubt I could convince the people of this city to abandon their homes, however terrified they may be. Methinks your majesty would do better to ask this of the Regent King. After the false sovereign vanished and the world was altered, his grace has been the one keeping order here in Vermont. If the people will heed anyone, tis him. It is admirable how Regent King Sven has taken up command of the kingdom. We would be remiss not to offer him our aid. Well, we're gonna head up there. I do wonder what that is. What are the red beams? Is it uh, something I should s uh, seek out, or? Do you know how long you'll be? I only ask so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. Let me through. So you've come. I'm glad to see you. Captain Brandt has already apprised me of your proposal. A full-scale evacuation of the citizenry. Truth be told, I had reached the same conclusion. So long as we cower within these walls, we must live in fear of going the way of Mel. My ministers have approved the plans, and I have petitioned the encampment survivors and the Thieves' Guild for aid. The only remaining obstacle is my mother. She has set herself stubbornly against any such flight. I have tried to make her see reason, but of late she has taken to shutting herself in her chambers. However, I fear that my position permits me to entertain her fancy no longer. I must put the needs of the common folk before her selfish whims. Now, there are a few matters I must attend to before we can evacuate, and I would fain welcome your assistance. We will require several ox carts to carry the sick and aged out of the city. Might I prevail upon you to petition the merchant at the Oxcart station in the west of the city for their use? You may assure him that the Royal Treasury will foot any and all expenses. Alright, so I'm going to the Queen now. But I killed the Queen. Queen Regent Deesa hardly leaves her chambers, and all her meals come back scarcely touched between you and me. I fear for her health. Well, that's over now. Have you come to claim my life, Arisen? Could be. Well, far be it from me to deny you, but I shall go to the grave with a smile on my lips, for I have no regrets. All I did, I did for my darling son. So do as you will. I have no intention of begging for mercy. Something. Very tempting, but I'm gonna do something worse than that. What are you doing? I'm gonna disobey Unhand you. Me at once. God, help me. You have brought mother to me. I see. 
My thanks, friend. You have done me a great service. Sven. You may leave us. Now that we can speak without a door twixt us, I am confident that I can persuade her. <laughs> she he is giving her a, a total earful. Alright. Now we need to head back to the city, right? I don't know how long time I have. That's a little bit of my, my worry. And there's no indication on the sky. Or is it? Let me see the map. Shouldn't I begin in the Sacred Arbor? Wouldn't that make more sense? Got something for me? Not really, I'm just checking if everyone was still alive. Gone with you, ruffian. These carts are mine. I paid good gold for them. Why did he buy them? And if you think I'll surrender a single one, you'd best think again. I require the use of all of them to transport my wealth to safety. What an asshole. No, I will not tolerate that. Come what are here. You doing? Put that away. No, spare me. I pray you. Fear for my life. I'm a goner. Well, reckon he won't be coming back here in a hurry. As a matter of fact, I'd like to thank you for that. It didn't sit right, see? Having my wares claimed by some puffed up minister trying to save his own skin. Anyhow, as long as I've got my gold, who takes the carts is no concern of mine. And if that craven comes crawling back, I'll tell him bandits took them. Minister Allard has fled, and good riddance. I doubt there ever was a more cravenly character in all Vermont. Oh yeah, now it wants us to go back to Sven, right? He only mentioned two things. There's no great shock to me. Apologies, Master, but you will have to do without us for the time being. Why can't Sven them get out here? Why do I have to run all the way back? It's not really helping, is it? Turn. How fares your procurement of those carts? You do? My thanks. That puts paid to the last of our preparations. I will inform the citizenry forthwith. Thank you. You have my gratitude. Can we not just leave her here? I mean, wouldn't that be better? But does that mean I'm done with this place, right? Let's head out. Come on, run. I think I will head down there. Fuck. 
fastest way down there, what could that be? Westgate, and then jump. Wakestone. drop what about there uh, that, that yeah this this way say I must have something that Vernworth wears a new face each time we visit it. We never quite know what awaits us here. Tis a city brimming with possibility. We could scour every cobblestone and still not find everything it has to offer. Another one. I don't think I can afford to stay though. Since I'm under time. But where is the one I'm going for? I should probably push until I can get to uh, what's this. All right, this is good, right? I might need to go down here. seems unlikely to catch a chill however cold our ice attacks may be oh shit we don't have time for this We do have time to open a chest, right? combat in order to use it
Prepare yourself! Forgive me, Wizard. I shall see to it this does not happen again. This is ridiculous. We need to heal it. Come on, it's not that hard. Would have been lost without you, Arisen. How did I die? not doing any damage to it. Thank you. 
any means. Even if they must lay the blame for their situation at the risk of me. I might have to change class though. Fighting so 
Oh, I messed that up twice. I'm burning a lot of time here. There we go. I think for this is probably the best. Okay, done here. It didn't really change the map or anything, did it? Take it over.
Others save as many lives as we can. Let us begin with the place most likely. Is that a snake? I should do it, right? No, oh, damn it. I cannot imagine the elves' despair to see their forest home impinged upon by this menace.
Did it. Thing. is defeated. My ears hoping this will be enough to forestall the Red Cloud's advance for a while. Forgive me, Arisen. I shall see to it this does not happen again. Okay, um... What if there's anything out there? Materials makes for dull work indeed. The 
Tis a vexing thing, communicating without a shared tongue. Would that we could find some common ground between us. Let us endeavor not to give our hosts any reason to doubt us further. Lungten appell. Where's Dorian? Or whatever her name is. I fear for the arbor. With seen, there is far more oh, you return. I am so happy to see you safe. You were gone so long. I was very worried. You think we should leave the arbor? I am not sure my father will like that idea, but I can try to convince him. Please, follow me. As arborist, Sataliasin is the leader of the elven people. Let us follow our guide that we might speak with him. That's just what I was thinking. Findelnar, Nevea Nolwendelis Kemen, Morivin Lis Palan, Oyo Eromar Meltol Netara. Casinke telpe nun findaler, nun mor arpa her. Fionar elwe afarne nenwen sur orne, i avstir lalasta. Morvani Morivin Findelnar, Nevea Tara Morivin, Lis fa aldakar Kemen Ros, Yav Morin Garina like asar Kemen Ros iloratu anfir Tara. Eteler Karil Morivin Alcadar Palan, Kemen Nun Les Alecano, Surne Kemen Ros Herenon Yav Kuruir, Falis Isil Rod Lintar, Neya Valecano 